See, now that's the problem with Empire Strikes Back, is that Yoda's only in it for like half the time on Dagobah. Yeah, I mean, and he's just a puppet. He's... Yeah, it's a lie. Yeah, that reminds me, we can't do the announcements today. Get out. The announcements have to air, bro. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Gabe. And I'm Alan Hugo with Canyon Sports Update. Spring sports start this week. Go check in with the office and see if you're cleared. And your varsity baseball team will have a game at Apollo High School away on the 24th at 4 p.m. And that's all for sports. What's up, everybody, and welcome to We're Gonna Need a Bigger Theater. I am your host, Tyler Valdembrini, and on this show, we're gonna be talking about movies and other profanities you might see at your local cinema. Now, if you like all these things or are wondering what movies could possibly be out this week, then look no further. First film of the day is Deadpool. That's right, Marvel's Merc with a Mouth finally gets his very own film. Now, this is a superhero film, scratch that, anti-hero film, about Wade Wilson, who, after going through a rogue experiment that grants him accelerated healing, dons the persona Deadpool to get revenge on the man who destroyed his life. Deadpool is a comic book film with a dark and twisted sense of humor that should not be missed. And lastly, we have Zoolander 2, the hit fashion-flavored comedy written and directed and starring Ben Stiller. Zoolander 2 sees the return of the dim-witted male model duo Derek and Hansel as they get back into the model industry but are challenged by an opposing company who won't stop until they leave for good. This is a great time for any fans of comedy, so if you're looking for big laughs this week, locate your nearest theater. Both films will premiere Friday, February 12th. Well folks, that's all we have for you today. If you're interested in any of these two films, talk about them down below in the comments section. I'm Tyler, this is We're Gonna Need a Bigger Theater, and we outro. Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Adriana. And I'm Richard here with this week's episode of Pop Talk. Now with Valentine's Day right around the corner, Adriana and I are going to help you find the perfect way to spend your day. Perfect. <laughs> so if you're in a relationship and unsure of what to do this Valentine's Day, we've got a list for you, starting with number one, ice skating. What better way to spend the day than skating under the neon lights and drinking cocoa? But if you're off lit skating like me, and me, then you can always go to a nice concert or a fancy dinner. I mean, you could never go wrong with good food and music. Retweet. Now, if you're on a little bit of a budget, you can always pull out those lights from about two months ago and set up a fancy homemade dinner for your significant other, or you can absolutely Netflix and chill. I should just watch the Netflix. <laughs> um, I recommend Sephora and chill, but you know, Netflix and chill with your honey or by yourself is always a great way to spend your day, especially because Netflix just released all of its renewed yeah. and canceled TV shows for the 2016 New Year's. According to Huffington Post, Marvel's Jessica Jones, Marcos, Orange is New Black, and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt are just a few that are being added to the list. So just build yourself a pillow for it, buy some pizza, and enjoy Netflix's wide array of your favorite television programs. I love Scandal. What's your favorite? Oh my god, The Flash is my favorite. If you love it too, please come hit me up. We can just watch it together. <laughs> and now we will be testing out some delicious Valentine's Day chocolates. So this is us eating the kisses. I love the packaging. Absolutely adore them. They're so cute. The colors just scream Valentine's Day. And here are those Cinderella candies, those disgusting Cinderella candies that the packaging was great, not, not what was on the inside. 
just a little disclaimer also if you are allergic to nuts they do contain nuts they were made on the same equipment as nuts and last but not least there's Dove. Now, I love the Dove chocolates. Amazing. They are so good. And they have little messages on the inside. So cute. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna rate the Hershey Kisses. Now, Patty is gonna go first. What do you think they should be? I would probably give them a four out of five hearts, just because I think that you can never go wrong with Hershey Kisses. What do you think about the Cinderella chocolates? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to give it like a one or two because the one I got, of course, it is an assortment, so there may be ones that are amazing, but the one I got was not so good, so I'd have one or two, but if I had that whole thing, then maybe. So what about you, Mitchell? Um, see this little beauty right here? I give it a five out of five because I love dark chocolate and it's dove. And, but if you don't like dark chocolate, like Patty said, there are many varieties of dove and they're all really good. So, if you like all different types of chocolate, I would definitely check it out. And now, Patty is gonna do her musical countdown special edition. Pat, but I'm Patty here with your top five countdown. Now, as Mitchell said, this week is gonna be a little different, dealing with Valentine's Day. And instead of me going off of iTunes, I've created my own list. So let's get started. Number five, Photograph by Ed Sheeran. This is an amazing song, it's super romantic, and the meaning just says it all. Basically stating you can have good times and bad times, but yet you can always have a photograph of the things you love and keep it close to your heart. Number four, we take a little bit of a different turn for all you single ladies out there. This is Beyonce's single hit, not single hit, one of the many single hits. Single Ladies, of course, by Beyonce. She has won many awards for this, including Grammy Awards for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. So there is more people out there like you who are single or who just like this R&B style pop song. Number three, A Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey. I know most of you guys are in high school, but this is an amazing song due to the fact that it says, will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? Just stating the facts that love can truly exist no matter what age, how old you are. Out number two, John Legend's All of Me. This sappy song hit number one on the iTunes chart back in 2014, and it is amazing. It's an awesome song, and now, Number one is the Spice Girls, Wannabe. This song came out in November of 1996, so it's an older hit, but it represents, especially in relationships, how you have to accept them through the obstacles of getting your significant other. Again, I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day, whether you're single or in a relationship, just love yourself. Um, and now back to your main anchors.